Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with this WBZ News update. Our top stories, one single crash created huge problems for commuters, whether they were on the road or the T. A truck crashed on 93 South of Dorchester, hitting the wall, knocking debris onto the tracks, and that forced the T to divert the red line for a couple of hours. It shut down three lanes of the expressway for several hours. No one was hurt, but drivers really had a very long commute. State lawmakers are pushing to pass a minimum wage for rideshare drivers. New bills filed in the House and Senate would not only guarantee guarantee minimum wage for Uber and Lyft drivers, but would also mandate paid sick leave and other benefits. And Yelp is out with its list of the top restaurants to eat at in 2023, and a Waltham favorite made the cut. Taqueria El Amigo is located on Willow Street and serves traditional Mexican specialties, and the restaurant consistently ranks among the Commonwealth's very best Mexican restaurants. All right, let's get a check of the forecast now with Eric Fisher. Eric? Thanks, David. Tonight will be cooling off. The wind is going to be very gusty for the first half of the night then it will start to calm down a bit after midnight. But tomorrow, a little chill in the morning air. We'll talk about 20s to around 30 degrees as we kick off the day. We actually get some sunshine tomorrow, especially the first half of the day. Some scattered clouds midday into the afternoon, but just nice to have some blue sky as we wrap up the weekend. Temperatures, no, not bad for January. Up to 41 in Boston and Plymouth. 42 in Providence tomorrow. 30s across most interior spots. Weekends looking mild as well. Mid 40s on Saturday. Upper 40s, maybe even some low 50s on Sunday. Could be a flurry or a sprinkle and some passing clouds on Saturday and some rain showers arrive here late in the day on Sunday. David. All right, Eric Fisher, thank you so much. I'm David Wade. This has been a WBZ News update. We thank you for watching. Have a great night.